If you're an experienced corporate professional and you've been considering a career pivot or career transition, but you're not quite sure which of your skills are transferable or how to put them on a resume, then this video is for you. If you don't know me, my name is Kelly Jackson. I've been a recruiter and a talent acquisition leader for the past three decades. I've helped thousands of corporate professionals that want to make a career transition, but not quite sure how to identify their transferable skills and then how to market them. So give me a few minutes and I'm going to share with you two examples on how to identify your transferable skills and then how to market them. So I'm going to share my screen with you now, and then we'll go through those two examples. Give me a second. Okay, let's go over the first example. This is Lisa Martinez, and she is transferring from teaching to corporate training. Okay, so we set up her resume. Again, this isn't about the format of the resume or the layout. This is just how to identify your transferable skills and then how to market, market them. So she's sharing that she's transitioning from an educational background to corporate training, utilizing strong presentation and curriculum development skills to enhance employee learning experience. So again, we're transitioning from teaching to corporate. So as you can see, she has strong presentation skills, she has curriculum development skills and employee learning experiences. So she's transferring from teaching to corporate training. So she's documenting that she has this these skills, right? So let's get into it. She's a high school teacher and here's some of the skills she, that she has developed and implemented curriculums for over 150 students, utilize multimedia tools to enhance learning experiences, conducted workshops for fellow teachers on effective teaching strategies. She also was a curriculum develop, developer for an edge tech solutions. So she collaborated with tech teams to develop e-learning modules. She also trained corporate clients on using educational platforms for employee training. Some of her skills are strong presentation abilities, curriculum development, e-learning platforms. Then she lists the type of platforms, workshop facilitation, team collaboration. And then her certifications include teaching license and corporate training. So you see how she incorporated all of her skills, her certifications that relate to where she's transitioning to, all of these are universal. They can go with her anywhere she goes, right? But we want to tailor and be specific what would resonate with a decision maker based off of the role of a corporate trainer, right? She developed and implemented curriculums. She's used multimedia tools to enhance learning. She's conducted workshops for fellow teachers and teaching strategies. She's collaborated already with tech teams and develop e-learning modules. All of this is transferable. She's also trained corporate clients. So this gives you an idea of how to identify and market your transferable skills. Let's look at the next one. Mark is going from finance to technology. Again, we're not paying attention to the layout of the resume. This is not how we would lay out this resume. I just want you to see how you can identify your skills. So Mark is transitioning from finance to tech, and he says he's leveraging strong analytical problem solving skills to contribute to an innovative tech solution. Let's look at his skills, right? He's led a team of five analysts. He's evaluated financial data and pre predict future trends. He's developed financial models to support decision-making processes. He's collaborated with the tech department. He's automated financial forecasting processes and improved accuracy. In his other role, he assisted clients in investment decisions and financial planning. Again, he's transitioning from finance to tech. So he utilized data analytic tools to provide insights to market trends. All of this can easily transfer into tech, right? So here's his skills, strong analytical abilities, proficient in data analytic tools, financial modeling and forecasting, he collaboration and team, leadership and problem solving. So this shows you how you're able to take your current skills and transfer them into a new employer, a new industry, as well as a new body of work that you wanna do. So hopefully this was helpful.